How you guys doing out there? I'm just going to give you a brief video on water fasting. Now, water fasting has actually been around for a long time, um, but it seems like it's becoming a trend in this new year. So I'm going to give you a few pros and cons on water fasting. The first great thing that water fasting does for you is it detoxes your body. It takes all of those toxins that have been building up in your body and it pretty much flushes it out, especially if you're not putting food back into your body. It's gonna go into your kidneys, it's gonna flush out your intestine, and it's gonna get all that just nasty stuff out of your stomach. And um, from there, you're, you're going to start feeling a lot better. The second positive thing about water fasting is you will lose weight. If your goal is to lose weight while you're doing a water fast, it's going to happen because the water is the only thing that is nourishing your body at the time, especially if you're not eating food. The water is just going to um, cleanse you out, get all that stuff out of you, which is going to cause you to lose weight. It's the calories that place weight on people. So when you're not putting calories within your body, then you're obviously going to lose weight. The third positive of water fasting is it increases your hydration. Now, if you're a person that already doesn't drink enough water, the water fast will help increase your hydration. It's been proven that the average person drinks about 260 gallons a year of water, which is roughly about a liter per day. And that's not to mention the people that drink less than that a day. So if you are going to water fast, it'll help increase your hydration and hopefully that'll become a better habit for you to where you start drinking water more on a regular basis. And my last positive thing about water fasting is it helps you to establish good habits. So mainly if you're going to fast anyway, you should probably be doing that once a month just to cleanse your body of all the stuff that you're putting inside of it, especially if you're not eating healthy all the time. Um, it's gonna help increase your hydration, like I said before, which is also a good habit. Um, and it's, it's pretty much gonna do things for your body uh, that you wouldn't normally do if you were not drinking enough water. Now the first negative thing that comes out of water fasting is you will have a lack of energy. When you're not placing calories, food, nutrients, and those type of things in your body, you are going to feel sluggish, you're going to feel tired, and you're probably going to want to, going to, want to stop this fast. That's the first negative, especially if you're an athlete. If you're an athlete and you're trying to fast, you may want to think about that. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the alternate fasts that I believe you should do. The second negative thing that I believe comes out of water fasting is if you're a person that already had bad habits before and you lose weight, the weight could potentially return. If you have bad habits and you lose all this weight and you go back to doing the things that you were doing before the fast, chances are the weight that you are going to lose could potentially come back. That's why if you are going to fast, make sure that you do it to uh, promote good habits so that those habits continue as your fast ends. The next con that comes along with water fasting is it is very difficult to be active if you are water fasting. This goes back to the lack of energy that I was talking about. Um, if you're a person that exercises regularly, if you're an athlete, fasting would probably not be a good idea, especially if it's water only. I actually went to school with a guy in college who um, his religion did not allow him to eat during during the day. And he actually, the workouts that we were doing were killing us. And it looked like he was gonna die about three or four days. So I would say, make sure that if you're athletic, if you're active, a water fast may not be for you unless your season is over. And the final negative that I believe comes along with water fasting is atrophy is probably going to happen. Atrophy just pretty much means you're going to lose muscle mass. If you're a person that's um, doing a water fast and you're losing weight and you have no energy and you can't exercise, chances are that muscle mass that you were building is going to disintegrate. And especially depending on how long your actual fast is going to be. So here are a few alternative fasts that you could do, especially if you're an athlete. I believe these will help you continue to place nutrients and things like that within your body that are gonna allow you to perform 
in the sport that you play. Now the first fast is a fast that the Bible actually refers to as the Daniel fast. Now the Daniel fast is where you are eating fruits, vegetables, and water only. That's all you're eating. So at least with the fruits and vegetables, you're getting the nutrients that your body needs um, to continue out through your day. With the water, that's gonna also help. Um, you're still going to possibly lose weight, um, but at least you'd be active because the fruits and vegetables are gonna give your body the nutrients that you need. You can also juice those fruits and vegetables and drink it that way, which is gonna put that um, those nutrients straight into your, your bloodstream and then you're gonna have the energy that you need to get through the day. And the fruits and vegetables are going to, for the most part, keep you full throughout the day, depending on the amount that you eat. There's also intermittent fasting. Now, pretty much what an intermittent fast is, is instead of eating the first meal of the day at eight or nine, you would push that back. For example, I, I intermittent fast for the most part, um, I wake up typically around 4.45, 5 o'clock. I will not eat my first meal until around 10.30. I will not eat my next meal until lunch. And then after that, it'll be a couple hours and I'll eat again around 6 or 7. And I, I'll do that over and over and over. That's another way. You're still going to lose weight. If you're a person that works out, you're going to shed body fat like crazy. So it would be another good fast for you, uh, especially if you're an athlete or a person that's trying to lose weight quickly. But remember, you have to make sure that this is a lifestyle because you don't wanna lose all this weight and then go back to your bad habits and you gain all the weight back. Intermittent fasting also still speeds up your metabolism and your fat burning actually turns up about 20 notches. I was actually training a kid a few years ago who was 300 pounds and he started intermittent fasting and he's down to about 205 now. So yeah, it's a, it's a really good fast for those that wanna lose weight quickly and also turn this into a lifestyle. And the final fast, that's another alternative to fasting, would be the one meal a day. Now you decide what or when you're going to have that meal. You're either gonna have breakfast and then go for the rest of the day, you're either gonna have lunch and go for the rest of the day, or you're gonna have dinner um, at a certain time. But in that time when you're not eating, then you can drink the water. So that would be the alternative of having, of having water only. You would have um, your water throughout the day, and then you'd also have um, your meal whenever you chose the time. So those are a few of my tips for fasting, whether you're water fasting or any other fast, um, make sure that you are staying active and make sure that the, you, you develop some good habits after your fast is over. Regardless of which fast you're trying to do, make sure that when you wake up, your first meal is to drink at least a glass of water because that's gonna start the metabolism building. That's gonna start um, your body starting to flush out the things that are in your stomach. Um, and then everything's gonna be, be working from that point on. So the water, regardless of which fast you're doing, the water should be the first thing you're doing um, to get everything started. This is Michael Wellington signing out.